The thing I really love about you guys and appreciate you for as a community is the fact that I can ask you guys, what should I do my next video about? Leave me a comment down below and you guys actually respond. It makes me so happy and it makes my life so much easier when I'm feeling uninspired. So I just want to say thank you. With that said, I got a comment asking me, how do you use transitions in DaVinci Resolve? And is there a transition pack that you would recommend? And if you guys know my current editing style, I really don't use transitions all that much. That is until now. I did some research for you guys and I found an awesome transition pack and I partnered with them so that you guys can get 15% off using code Sydney Baker Green. I take no money for this. I wanted you guys to get the discount. And I just want to show you guys how you can import these transitions into DaVinci Resolve, how simple they are to use as drag and drop transitions, and lastly, how you can really customize these transitions to make them your own. With that said, roll intro. What's good everybody? For those of you guys who are new to my channel, my name is Sydney Baker Green. I'm an international photographer, content creator, and cinematographer, and we're just gonna jump right into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to install these transitions. How do you do that? Well, you're gonna left click in your project manager. For those of you guys who don't know, this is our project manager. That is the name of it. So we're gonna left click, we're going to restore project archive. So I already have it opened up, but basically what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put the path of where your transitions are located. I have them in my downloads folder still. So once that path is in there, all you're simply gonna do is press open and you're gonna wait. And it's going to import your transitions as a project file. That is how these transitions are set up. I know it's gonna seem complicated. How can you use the transitions if they're in a separate project? I'm gonna show you guys that right now. So we're gonna click on the project itself where all the transitions are, store our visuals, camera moves, transitions, and then you can see we have this little folder right here. And inside this folder, we are going to have different frame rates for the transitions that we're gonna use. So if your timeline is 60p, you're gonna use a 60 FPS, so on and so forth. But everything I do is in 24p. But just going back here, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna simply copy, control, I'm gonna use control C on Apple, command C, to copy this file. Then we're gonna click on the little home icon down there and it brings up a project manager again. Turn on dynamic project switching. The project I'm going to be working in today is a TikTok uh, video that I made. I just turned it back into horizontal so you can see it. And then you're going to press Control V. And boom, you can see we have our folder in there now. Now for the sake of resources, I'm now going to turn off dynamic project switching. But before I do that, notice here there's this drop down. That is how you're able to work in multiple projects at one time, is through dynamic project switching. Once I turn off dynamic project switching, you've seen that goes away, and boom, we're right back in here. One project open, saving our resources, and I have my audio muted. It is synced to audio, but I don't want to get a copyright strike because it is a copyrighted song. You can do that on TikTok, fortunately. Um, so here we are. I'm going to do my first transition here. So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to select 24 frames per second. And I'm going to do a zoom in. And in order to find that, so I can see, a zoom out. Because you can see here, like look. It would be cool because you're inside the car and then you zoom out. And you can also always preview how these transitions work right here. Just by sliding your cursor over them. I'm gonna move this down so I'm gonna be able to see one, two, and three. I want to be able to see all of these and then just drag this down. Awesome. So we're going to do a zoom out here. And I'm going to slide this just right here. And then what I do is I hit decompose and place. And that is how you're going to be able to line up exactly what you're doing. So I'm going to also mute this as well. But there is a little sound effect that comes with it. And then I just drag that cut over the cut where I want the transition to happen, and then I am able to delete the preview file. And now it's applied to my clip. Unfortunately though, these transitions are really resource intensive, but there is a way we can get around that. We have to render them. But in order to render them, DaVinci Resolve doesn't allow us to render the cache output for Fusion on an adjustment clip. 
but you see it'll let us do it for that clip. So what we have to do is we just have to get a little bit creative. We're gonna cut at the end of this transition here and cut at the end of this transition here. And then we're gonna go back to select them all. And we're going to generate a new compound clip. We're just gonna call it Tran 1 for transition one. And now I can left click render Fusion Cache output on. And if you already have it, you come to playback and then you're going to go to render cache and just select user. And you can see here, it's all blue for me now. So I can just preview that transition. And if you wanna hear it, this is what the little sound effect sounds like. That is extra loud, made my doors shake. So the last thing I'm gonna show you guys is how to customize these and make them your own. You see they're easy, you see they're drag and drop. So I have this scene right here that I wanna use a transition on. When I show you guys the transition, you're gonna see it's a long transition and I believe it is, let's see, let's see, right here. And I'm gonna place it over here, but just so you can see, you can see it already takes over the entire clip itself. And this is the transition. That's how it works. So, muting this, because I don't wanna hear that. We're gonna decompose in place again, right here. And then I'm going to go to my cut, I come right there and just drag it. We're doing the same process over again, making sure it lines up right on that cut. I might need to zoom in just a smidge so I can do that perfectly, awesome. So now that that's done, again, we're going to remove our preview. Boom. And now we're gonna go into Fusion to adjust the time of this. And I know Fusion, Fusion looks scary, but trust me, it's not. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on Long Warp. I'm gonna left click over here, just turn off High Quality and turn off Motion Blur. And we do that so that our computer doesn't take up too many resources and that we're able to actually work within the cuts. So you're gonna click on Spline up here. You're gonna click Long Warp. And I'm simply going to click on that button right there so that we're able to see what we're doing. I'm also going to open it up a little bit so I have more room to work. And then we're going to click in here and click Command A to select all of the keyframes. Then we're going to click on Time Stretch. Now we have these lines right here. All I'm going to simply do is I'm going to move this so that it gets done quicker. And I'm going to move the other side so that it intersects at the same time and all the fastest movements happen in the same area. We're gonna come back over here just to make sure we did that correctly. Just pull that right there. And now you can see when we come back out here that instead of the transition being done over here, it's probably done somewhere. Let's see, it's done somewhere over here. We're just gonna simply cut here, cut here, and then right here, leave that where it is. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna simply unlink him and then I'm going to delete that one. And then I'm gonna select right here, take all of these, again, new compound clip. But before I do that, I forgot to show you guys one thing. Make sure you turn on high quality, make sure you turn on motion blur again. Come back into edit. You're gonna create your new compound clip. It's gonna be called Tran2, create. And then you already know the drill. We're going to render Fusion Cache output on and we're going to allow that to render. So now that that is done rendering, we can play it through all the way. You see that transition happens, and this is synced to music, keep that in mind. And then watch how quick this transition happens. Boom, you can make it faster, slower, whatever way you wanna do it, but that's how you really manipulate them so that they can fit your footage and it doesn't look like something you just dragged and dropped. That could have been way faster, that could have been way slower. It's actually a little bit fast for my taste, but I think it looks pretty good. Overall, um, that is the way you get this playback to work smoothly. That is the way you use these transitions. Back in the day when I was using Premiere Pro, I had a free transition pack and I can just tell you, first of all, they didn't have this many options. It didn't come with sound effects and there's not really anything that you can't think of that isn't in here as a transition. So this is a really great option for somebody who's looking for a very time effective way to add transitions and to get their editing done. Again, you guys get 15% off using code Sydney Baker Green. Remember that the link is in the description down below for this transition pack. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications if you already have not. Be sure to follow me on my social media. The link is in the description down below, all of them. And be sure to follow the YouTube fam, Will, Nate, Colin and Dr. D. All their links are in the description down below. Remember, if you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, every day, 
airplanes take off against the wind. Live, love, laugh, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. My name is Sydney. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.